Hello everyone, welcome back to Shawcode. In this video, we're going to be learning about text styles and how to style your text in KiviMD. If this is your first time here on the channel, then be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Python tutorials. Uh, so first things first, uh, just a reminder of what we did last time. This is what we did last time, and if you remember, to run it, we need to go into the command prompt, and I'm going to go into my, uh, project file by doing cd and then kivi md tutorial uh, and then we do so it's kivi underscore vmv slash backslash scripts backslash activate and that activates a virtual environment for us and then we can do python uh, and then the name of your python file uh, so that's for me it's python tutorial 1.py and we hit enter and this is what we had last time uh, just some text that says hello world and just a white background so today we're going to be learning how to change what this text looks like, basically. So, you know, changing the color, changing the size, changing the font, stuff like that. Uh, so we'll just close out of this and we'll keep this minimized. Now, uh, just to recap how KiviMD works is basically we have to import the MD app. And that is sort of just, it's what you have to do in every KiviMD app, basically. Uh, and then we are importing an MD label, so that's some text that will be that will be displayed on the screen. Uh, from Kivi from KiviMD.uix.label, import MD label. And remember, this UIX here is uh, everything to do with the user interface, so uh, labels, buttons, all that. And then we have our app class, and I'm just calling it my app, and it'll inherit from the MD app. Uh, and then in the in your app class, you have to have this build method. It will return one widget, which will be displayed on the screen, and uh, and that's called the root widget. And then to run the program, we just do my app dot run. So when we see hello world displayed on the screen, that's this uh, MD label that's being returned here. So now that we've recapped that, uh, we can actually change how the hello world looks like. I've just got a text file here explaining what the different styles of text you have. Uh, so you have what are called text themes. Uh, there's primary, secondary, hint, error, and also custom, where you can choose your own. Uh, so instead of explaining it right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, show you an example. Uh, so to change the theme of the text, we can do theme underscore text underscore color inside of this MD label brackets here, and we set it equal to um, well, we could, I've said before, primary, secondary, hint, error, or custom. So if we set it to primary, and we save it, and then we go into the command prompt, and then run it again, uh, we can see not really much difference, because primary is what it is by default. Now if we close it and change it to secondary, and then run it from the command prompt again, uh, we can see it's a little more grayed out. So you have your primary text, you also have your secondary text, which is a little more, it's a little more subtle, uh, a little bit grayed out. And then we have, uh, what else? We have hint. Uh, so if we run it once more, you can see this time it's even more grayed out. I think it's also a little bit smaller. And we also have error. And an error. And the error theme will just be red, like that, so it looks like an error message. If you're finding this video useful, then a like would be appreciated. Uh, it really does help me out. And then finally, we also have custom. Setting a custom theme allows you to change the color of the text itself. Uh, to do this, we add another argument to the MD label. And this argument is just going to be text underscore color. Then we set it equal to a tuple. And just bear with me, I'm going to turn word wrap on. Uh... Yeah, word wrap. So we have the text color here. So text color, it's a tuple, and it has four values. It has red, green, blue, and also um, alpha, which is transparency. So it's uh, it can be between zero and one. So you'll have, if you want to have white, you'll have 100% red, 100% green, 100% blue, and also 100% trans, uh, 100 um, alpha, which is how transparent it is. So if we run it, uh, just go into command prompt and run it, uh, you'll see we can't actually see the text because it's completely white. Uh, so if we had um, if we had no blue and no green, but uh, so it's entirely red basically, 
and then we run it. Uh, we'll get some red text. In the same way, we can change it to uh, green and have no red. Then we'll get green text. I think you can get the idea that we'll get green text. Uh, you can also have a mix, a mix of colors. So uh, while that's hard to see, uh, red and green will get red and green will give you yellow. Uh, you can't really read it. You can also use decimals, so it doesn't have to be zero or one. It can be, um, you know, like a mix. So we've got um, if we put zero point five for all of them, and then we run it, we'll get grey there. Uh, we can also change the um, how transparent something is, so we'll give it 50% opacity, so then it'll be um, basically 50% transparent. So you can see it's ever so slightly transparent. You can't really tell because it's grey. So if you want to work out your colours, you can just go to an RGB colour picker. Uh, and then just go to a random website, um, and then you can choose your colours here, so... Um, I don't know, let's just choose a random red colour. That looks pretty decent. And you can see we've got RGB 1, 0 0.19 and 0 0.24. If we uh, copy that, uh, paste it in. And obviously we have to get rid of our RGB there. If we run it now, uh, like that, we'll see we got our colour that we chose in here. And you can see here that we actually get two values Sometimes uh, the RGB is out of 255, other times it's out of 1. So if you do get it, if you do end up with choosing one using 255, what you can do is you can just do, uh, say if we add 255, you want to divide it by 255. So if we run it now, we'll get the exact same results. You can see we get Hello World there. Uh, so that's it for text colors. Now let's talk about uh, font styles. So there's loads of different font styles in KVMD. You've got headings, you've got body text, you've got subtitles, you've got captions. Uh, there's loads of different ones. I'm not going to cover them all because there's too many to count. Uh, but this uh, this image here just shows you a few examples of what you can get. So you can get all the different headings. Uh, you can get subtitles, bodies, buttons, captions. Um, so, uh, so you've got the headings and this is from H1 all the way down to H6. Um, so the H1 is the bit is the biggest heading that you can get, and then H6 is the smallest heading you can get. Uh, you've also got body one and body two. Uh, this is the text that you're using, like paragraphs or whatever. Uh, body one is bigger than body two. Then you've also got subtitle one and subtitle two. Subtitle one will be bigger than subtitle two, and then you've also got captions. So to change the font style in KVMD, uh, it's yet again another parameter. So I'm just going to get rid of both of these right here, and I believe that it's just font style. Yeah, so it is font style, and then here we can type in h1, and I've accidentally closed command prompt, so I'll just open it again, uh, go into KV, uh, KVMD tutorial. We'll have to activate the virtual environment again, so KVMD scripts slash activate, and then Python... Uh, tutorial1.py and we run that and you can see we get this massive heading and that is what h1 looks like uh, we've also got h2 uh, which is a little bit smaller and that goes all the way down to h6 you can see we've got this tiny little heading right there uh, you can also have body uh, we can have body1 you can see it's just body one is actually the default used in Kivi. Uh, you've also got body two, which is just body but smaller. Uh, you've also got subtitles. I'm not going to go over those, but you've also got a caption. And if we run it, we get this tiny little text, which is your caption text. Uh, so that's basically it for Kivi MD text, fonts, and styling and all that. If you're finding this video useful, then a like would be appreciated. Uh, it really does help me out. Other than that, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.